Hey guys, so I wanted to share about a foundation that I have been really loving. My sister actually put me on this. It is a powder foundation from Jane Eardale. And you don't have to use this one specifically, but I wanted to talk about why powder foundations might be a really good product if you have dry skin or if you have mature skin. I actually used to use the Bare Minerals Loose Powder when I first started using makeup and then I used it in college as well. But I don't know, I feel like powder foundations have they just are not really popular it's very hard to come by them i went on sephora to kind of filter through powder foundations and i think they were like less than 10 so i decided to buy this one off of amazon this is the same one that my sister uses you can get it on amazon you can get it on ulta or the website my sister actually buys on ulta when they have like 50 percent off sale amazon is doing a beauty promo right now where you spend 50 dollars or more they'll send you a 10 dollar promotional credit it ends I think the 19th so hopefully I'll have this video up by then but if you are someone like me who has dry skin who has more noticeable signs of aging like fine lines I have fine lines I have crow's feet and a lot of liquid foundation formulas can settle into those fine lines even if they're really light I feel like I always struggle to have my skin look like skin but still give me decent coverage until I tried this and I just fell in love with it. So this is what I'm gonna be sharing about in today's video and maybe you will fall in love with it as well because you never know. So if you struggle with finding a good foundation for your dry or mature skin, maybe try giving powder foundation a try. This is my skin with just skincare. Like I said, I do have fine lines. I have very prominent crow's feet and throughout the day product really settles in there. So I have to be really careful with what products that I choose if I want my skin to still look good. I'm gonna be using this brush right here, which I probably wouldn't recommend this brush because this one's pretty dense but this is the only foundation type brush I have I usually use this for my liquid products but I'll just honestly go right in and stipple into the skin so I'm gonna do half of the face so you guys can see a little bit of difference you can already see it like mattifies the under eye area it says it's medium to full coverage but if I'm being completely honest I would say it's probably more so medium coverage I wouldn't say it's super full coverage because I feel like I have used liquid foundations they gave me better coverage than this but this conceals really well while still allowing my skin to really look like skin it doesn't cling to dry patches you can overdo it if you go in with too many layers it can look a little bit makeup -y. and it does have skincare ingredients which is really nice as well as SPF and I have mine in the shade amber I do feel like it's a little bit too light for the summertime for me personally I kind of struggled finding a good shade and this is their refillable compact I didn't get the actual compact because that was like an extra $20 and I felt like I didn't want to pay an extra $20 just for the compact but I might buy it because I feel like I love this foundation so much that I might buy it so that I can just buying the refills so I love that they have that concept as well you buy the compact once and then just continue to buy the refills but here is just one light layer I brushed on it doesn't look like much of a difference but you can see that I have like some redness going on right here some blueness in the inner corner whereas this side it just looks flawless it's not completely full coverage like my skin still looks like skin and you can see I have a little bit of breakouts here but the fact that it covered a lot while still looking so good and flawless and skin like to me is just amazing and i feel like it's just so quick to do your makeup as well you just boom 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 and you're done if you want more coverage you can go in with like con liquid concealer products underneath what i sometimes do is i'll grab a concealer brush and then use some extra product to conceal as well using this powder foundation but i have to be careful because again if you use too much of it i do feel like it starts to look a little bit makeupy if you know what i mean and i also feel like liquid products sit really nicely on top of this as well so i have the elf camel liquid blush here in shade pinky promise and i'm just gonna dab a little bit because this is super pigmented so a little bit goes a long way but usually you think you know you can't mix liquid products on top of powder products but i have not really you know noticed an issue and i feel like products actually sit beautifully on top of this powder foundation this is the end result let me show you guys a little bit of a close-up once again like my skin just really looks like skin and I don't feel like this foundation ages me it doesn't sink into pores it doesn't sink into fine lines it doesn't cling to dry patches again you do have to be a little bit careful because you can overdo it if you press in too much at once it can start to look like you can see that there's powder but it wears beautifully for me personally throughout the day it has skincare ingredients it has SPF so it kind of checks all the boxes so that's my quick review of this powder foundation right here I'll link it down below you can shop Amazon Ulta or their website again Amazon does have that beauty promo going on right now which ends the 19th but I hope you guys found this video helpful thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me